time in Perth I like to go up to the Avery, it's right in the city um, and on a hot day it's got a beautiful mist that goes over the balcony and it's a nice rooftop bar that's an escape from the hustle and bustle down below on the street and the food there is fantastic. Look, when I'm in Perth, I go out to an area called Leaderville. It's got some groovy cafes, it's got a great little cinema there, and fabulous seafood. I would suggest going to Jamie Oliver's uh, restaurant, Jamie's Kitchen in Perth. It's nice and central. Uh, it's a casual restaurant, authentic uh, Italian food with a bit of a modern Australian twist. I'd recommend Hillary's Wharf, it's just south of Scarborough. It's just a beautiful place for young people and also families just to go and sit down on the wharf. They've got all sorts of food down there, seafood, burger joints, there's a nice bar. In Perth, I would say the North Bridge is a great place to hang out. Nightlife, pubs, lots of cafes, bars. For lunch, I'd say head out 5k from the city along the Swan River. There's a place called Tranby House. They do lovely Devonshire teas and lunches. There is a restaurant in the old Swan Brewery, it is called Swan Brewery. Uh, fine dining, not exactly cheap, uh, but it's well worth the experience. Well, if you're looking for a one-off experience, a really iconic place in Perth, just a few minutes from the airport, it's called Alfred's Kitchen. It's only open uh, late hours of the night, seasonally. From Perth to Fremantle is pretty close. Um, you can go by train or by bus and um, it's a wonderful area for all kinds of dining cuisines, but I recommend the Italian.